Okay, hello students. Uh, today we will learn a uh, method of lines. Okay, so I have shared with you some handouts on method of lines and let me open it for you. Yes, so now uh, you can see that this document contains basic introduction about the method of lines. Okay, now uh, uh, we have got two types of partial differential equations the advection equation and then the diffusion equation. Okay, so uh, we will discuss today the partial differential equation that is the heat equation. Okay and uh, also sometimes we call it the diffusion equation so now the point is that the plan is that as obvious from the name of the method we, are, we will talk about the lines and how will we go to those lines how will we transform the system of pdes to the system of odes single pde in fact a single pdes to a system of odes okay that is better so now how will you transform one pde to a system of ordinary differential equations let us straight the way go to the partial differential equation that is the heat equation okay because this explanation is for the advection equation so let us go to the diffusion yes diffusion equation or heat equation now uh, here you can see that the double derivative term okay now we all know that for a pde we have partial derivative with respect to time single derivative and double derivative with respect to space now what is important here students can you see this uh, approximation this is the centered derivative yes so uh, we can see that here this formula we are familiar with this formula just straight away substitute this formula into the uh, or uh, into the partial differential equation that is the heat equation and then instead of the partial derivative with respect to time replace it by the ordinary derivative okay now you can see here that we have got the ui ui plus one ui ui minus one now what does it mean so u stands for the temperature at the ith space location okay now please be very clear about the indices and um, because this is the most important part so ui i repeat ui ui stands for the temperature at the ith space point and for all the times so let us understand the scheme with the help of a picture i've made a picture for you here so let us assume that a partial differential equation was given to you and we have got an extra term here okay so um, what is happening here students you have now transformed your partial differential equation to an ordinary differential equation how the partial derivative with respect to space by the centered difference scheme and then because the differentiation with respect to space was gone so t was depending on your time so we have moved the derivatives the partials uh, to replace it by the simple derivative okay now this is the scheme now how will it work how will this ti work now students remember that i'm saying that ti stands for the temperature at the ith location okay let us say that uh, i have a rod or let us say that this is a square or a, or a rectangle and i have divided it into vertical patches okay how many patches are there uh, we have got 10 lines okay so if i make another line then of course i will get 11 so i will have 10 patches okay so let me make the 11th one as well so here is the 11th one okay now i have how many patches 10 patches and 11 lines okay now the most important point is that where has the time gone because the temperature is changing with respect to space the temperature is changing with respect to time i'm saying that ti for example if i is equal to 2 what will happen i am here at this line okay so what is the temperature along this line 
actually students along this line the temperature will change with respect to time but the space will be stable okay now we will use a command in matlab to specify the discretization in time okay and this is what must be unique in your assignment okay every student will give different uh, step size for space different step size for time step size for space will work along this direction for example if i have asked you to uh, divide a rod of length 20 into 20 patches then you will have 21 lines okay so 21 spatial locations and how many um, temporal locations and if i say that find the temperature um, at different times with the step size in time of let's say uh, 0.25 till time is equal to 1 so you can divide your time uh, in that way similarly if i say that divide your time from 0 till 1 into 5 parts so what will you do your starting value is 0 your ending value for time is one here you have t is equal to zero let us write here so we have t is equal to zero and then we have here t is equal to one okay and we have uh let's say delta e is equal to 1 minus 0 divided by 5 okay so 0 0.2 okay so you will calculate the temperature let us give it a different uh, color so you will calculate the temperature at this point okay and then again we will continue this way at this point and so on okay so matlab will help us to find the temperature at all these points similarly you will have these grid points here 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 just as we used to do for other finite difference methods we do have temperature values using the method of lines at the different time levels okay so we will not miss anything but first we will make the lines we for those lines we need the variables okay now let us go back to the system how will i obtain the system of ordinary differential equations now i have said that i want to divide my rectangle or a square of like let's say i have a plate or let's say if i'm in one day i have a rod so i have divided it into lines okay and for each line i have a ordinary differential equation remember that for the boundaries for this t1 and this t11 what is the point students for this t1 and this t11 i will utilize the boundary conditions and i will write these values in the matlab m file i will show you whereas for t2 t3 t4 till t10 what am i going to do i will write the scheme how will i write the scheme in the differential equation i will replace r by 2 3 4 and so on to 10. now you can see that i have obtained in fact how many differential equations 11 2 minus 11 minus uh, 2 minus 11 is uh, 9 so we have here 9 odes and in the nine ODEs, how many unknowns are there? Of course, T naught and T11 will be given to you, the boundary conditions. So what is left behind? We have got nine vectors, nine vectors of the temperature with respect to time as well. So, okay, so let us understand it in detail. For example, T2 is actually a vector 
with the temperature values at all the temporal locations and how many temporal locations 